Welcome to an overview of XMind 2008. Our first topic is working with XMind. XMind provides a number of flexible structures for visualizing information, including mind maps, concept maps, and a variety of charts, fishbone charts, logic charts, org charts, 2D charts, flow charts, and tree charts. Let's begin with a basic mind map. XMind starts with a central topic. Double click to edit your topic name. How do we capture ideas in a mind map? It's easy. Once you've created a central topic, hit tab to build out main topics. Then hit tab again to branch into subtopics or enter to create brother main topics. Once you have some topics created, how do we organize our map? You can easily drag and drop topics around the map. You can also organize your map by inserting relationship arrowed lines between various topics. Yet another organizational tool is creating boundaries around the main topic subtopic grouping. Let's move on to extending information. A general principle of using mind maps is to use more topics and less words. Build out your topic subtopic structures and then you can extend them by searching the web for images and relevant information, all from within XMind. When you find websites you want to incorporate, you can insert them into a relevant topic on the map as attachments. You can also insert various files from your own directory. For ease of navigation, you can use drill down functionality to focus on a topic and build out more detail. Then use drill up to go back to the big picture. Let's take a look at some other structures you can work with. A 2D chart is useful for project management where you want to present a set of complex information in rows and columns. From file, new, or the template pull-down menu, start a 2D chart from the project management template. In XMind, you can easily add row topics, columns, and cell topics. You can also use other structures within a 2D chart, like a mind map. Another popular structure is a fishbone chart, often used in projects for strategic decision making. From File, New, or the template pull-down menu, select Fishbone Chart. The fishbone structure lends itself to cause and effect, milestone tracking, and decision making. Next, let's talk about working with floating topics and relationships together. You can build a concept map simply by creating several floating topics and inserting various relationships or connectors among them. Double click on the blank space in a map to create several floating topics and then insert a connecting relationship line from the insert pull down menu or the main toolbar. You can also have a, des a descriptive connector label between the topics. Do you need to create a flowchart? From the new templates pull down, you can instantly have a flowchart template. Then expand it by using floating topics and relationship lines, just like with our concept map example. Once your map is created, you're now ready to share it with others. XMind enables you to share your map across different platforms and applications. It's compatible with many popular document formats. Using File Export, you can convert your map into a PDF, a PowerPoint presentation, a Word file, an image file, and other common formats. People using those applications can easily view your map. You can also take a snapshot or map shot of portions of your map and copy it into an image file 
so that it can be easily shared and pasted into other applications. XMind has a variety of tools to enrich your map. You can add rich text notes to a topic in the notes pane. Once your note is created, just click on the note icon in the topic and a pop-up will show you the detailed notes. You can also format your text with various formatting styles. Labels are also a fast and easy way to add descriptive text to a topic. Simply click on the topic and use F3 or right click to add a label. From within the drawing or brainstorming mode of XMind, use the styles menu to format topics with different background colors and shapes, boundary and relationship lines, and the overall map background. Also from the drawing mode, use the themes menu to choose among several overall design patterns for your map. Just double click on a theme and the map automatically changes to the selected pattern. From the brainstorm and drawing modes of XMind, you can use a variety of graphic markers to assign priorities, check tasks complete, raise red flags, and mark your topics in a number of other ways. Just click on the topic to be marked and then select your marker. It's automatically added to your topic. As mentioned earlier, you can easily add an image to a topic. From the insert pull down menu, choose image and then your source. Either from your hard drive, the XMind image gallery which has a variety of choices, or do a web search. Ever thought about capturing sounds or spoken words in your mind maps? Check out the audio notes feature. With the click of a button on your main toolbar or from meeting mode on your right column of menus, you can record exactly what people are saying during a meeting or brainstorming session. When you stop recording, an MP3 file is added as an attachment to your topic. You can use a variety of images for your map background or wallpaper. In the properties menu, click on wallpaper and then choose an image from one of the selections within XMind or one of your own from your file directory. Your image fills your map background. Once you've added various markers to your map, you can show a legend of what the various markers represent. In the Map Properties view, scroll down to Legend and click on Show Legend. A legend is especially useful when you've added a number of different markers. Do you want to number your topics? Just click on a topic and go to Numbering under Properties view. Then choose your numbering style and scheme. Now your topics and subtopics are numbered in sequence. Finally, it's time to show your map. Blow your map up to fill the screen by shifting into presentation mode with a quick F5 or from the view pull down menu. Once in presentation mode, you can filter your map to focus on a subset of topics. From the mini toolbar that appears in the empty space, click the filter icon and then uncheck the markers or labels that you don't want to show on the map. Today we've seen a variety of structures and flexible ways in which you can visually organize and present information in XMind, a powerful tool for structuring your mind.